In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom 404 error page for your Joomla site. I'm going to show you in Joomla 4, but this method will also work in Joomla 3. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to this video, another video here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so if you're looking for someone to hire short-term or long-term, send me an email and let's see what we can work out. This video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site. While you're there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the, go use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. All right, so let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll see how to do this now. So basically, the default 404 error page on a Joomla site is kind of boring. Check this out. We can, you know, this is a fresh Joomla install. I can type anything, literally, in a URL and I get this. Uh, page can't be found. Errors occurred. Here's some of the reasons. You know, it's pretty generic. Um, but uh, what you can do very easily is make a custom 404 error page that uh, fits with your theme, fits with your business, fits with your fun personality. And uh, to do that, we are going to actually be following the instructions that Daniel Dubois Hooray! already has on his website. I'm going to paste the link in the description below. If you like to read instead of listen to me go on about things, then uh, certainly check that out, out that link because the steps are pretty straightforward. And so we will see those steps right now. All right. So first of all, what we are going to do is this. We're going to go to menu, main menu, and add a new menu item. Now, of course, uh, building a Joomla site is a lot like dancing. Everybody puts their own style on it. And so you maybe you have another menu you want to put this item in. You, you do it your way. These are the basic steps that will get you there. Now, we're going to give this menu a title for, whoops, let's see, 404 error page. All right. And now down here, menu t item type, we're going to select and we're going to go to articles and we will go to a single article. Now this is a fresh install so I don't already have a page I want to use for the 404. So next I'm going to create a page and we're simply going to give this a title and that will be a 404 error article. We'll just call it that. And now we're going to put some text. Uh, that page cannot be found. All right, and why don't we give that a heading of heading one. And now down here, I'm going to insert a, a picture I've already uh, 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 uploaded to the server. CMS content, media. There's a picture there. Great, I'm going to insert it. I'm just going to tell that to center and that will be our error page. Okay, so that's a new article. And now what's really important is this. When we go uh, save and close, we'll go back to the menu creation and we will now go to it and do something else here. First of all, we're going to go uh, link type down here, we're going to say display menu. No, that will keep the there from being a link in the menu of the main page there. Now, we're going to do two things. Uh, just check back here. We're going to first of all save, not save and close. We're going to save. And you're going to see here that the article ID is one. Now, if you're doing this late later on on your site, your article ID, ID is going to be up way uh, a higher number than one but article id equals one all right now we're going to save and close this and we're now going to look at this menu this error page menu which is hidden it has an id of 102 all right so we remember the article id is one the menu is uh the menu id is 102 all right, so next what we need to do is this. We're going to go uh, to System, 
we're going to go to templates we'll go to site templates we're going to click on Cassiopeia details and files now of course you'll click on the template that you want to do this on we'll click there and you see this air.php file we're going to click on that and open it now next we're going to use some code I'll put this code in the description of this video or you can get it from Daniel's site and uh, we'll scroll down to where that code is do 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 there it is and we're just going to select this code all right and copy it now right after where it says define jxec or die we're going to add this code and we're going to change xx the id equals xx to the article id and the item id yy to the menu id which we remember from looking before we we'll go back here whoops wrong page okay so there's define jxec or die we will go there we will go control v and paste that and now id the article id is one and the item id is 102 and we are going to go save and that's it watch this now we'll go up here and we'll go to forward slash anything and there's our custom 404 error page now notice this page says written by category published hits even shows the title you can go into the menu item and turn those off in the options but there you have it a very simple method thank you daniel for uh putting that on your website and putting that out there for all of us make a custom uh, 404 error page for your juma site it will be a lot of fun if people end up on a page that's broken it'll be different than that bland thing I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications of new things happening here in the channel, and give the video a like. It'll help others to find it. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.